Good morning, tribe. Good morning. Today is a very transformational day in the history of the United States for a lot of reasons. It's also a very transformational opportunity for energy in this nation and in this world. This video is a call to action to anyone who identifies as being a light worker, a healer, a mentor, a leader in any capacity on this planet right now in any way, shape, or form. Um, I need you guys to pay very special attention to what I'm going to say right now. And I need you to really turn off the part of your brain that is caught up in fear dialogue and really wants to complain and really wants to freak out and really wants to point fingers and fight and get pugnacious. I need you to turn that off and I really need you to listen to me right now. Your job on this planet has nothing to do with what is happening on this material plane. And if you step out into the world and you talk about love and you talk about light and you talk about peace and you talk about anything spiritual, anything light filled, anything about service, anything about anything in that realm, and you are actively giving into the negative talk and the fear talk right now, you are not doing your job. I really need you to hear that. What you believe, what you preach, what you live by means nothing unless you do that now when it matters, when it's difficult. It's super, super easy when everything is great to be like, I believe in unconditional love and I believe in peace for everyone and I believe in treating everyone equally and I believe in equality and support. It's so easy to do that when things are going your way. It is not so easy to do that when things are not going your way. So I need you to hear this. It is not okay for you to create further separation in the world, in the collective consciousness, because this situation did not go the way you wanted it to go. That doesn't matter because what happened has happened, okay? Things are changing and I can pretty much guarantee because of the readings that I've done and the things that I've seen that there is a lot of change coming upon us and very quickly, I can guarantee that. It's not doom and gloom. It's not this fear that is just grappling at everyone's heart right now. But what I really need you to hear, lightworkers, is that your job is to be a light on this planet. And when does light matter? When there is darkness. That's when light matters. Light doesn't matter when there's other light. It all blends together and you can't tell a damn difference. That's not the point. The point is that you are shining when people are suffering and there's very real suffering happening today. And if you are suffering because you are experiencing rejection or pain or uh, shock or guess what? We all are because that's part of life. If what happened last night did not align with your personal views or your personal beliefs, that happens. That's life. And you know what else happens? It goes on. And what matters now is what you choose to do with this reality. And you taking a back seat and deciding that you're going to just fall into all this negative talk, fear talk, and you're going to point fingers and tell people who voted for this person that they're disgusting and tell people that who voted for that person that they're disgusting. You're not doing your job. You're doing the opposite of your job and you're feeding into this darkness. So wake up, my people, wake up and stop doing that. Stop creating further divide in our culture and in our family. That's not your job.
That is not your job. Your job is to serve. Your job is to show up even when your heart is bleeding. I am a mother. I am a woman. I am from an immigrant family. I look at my son and I feel a lot of feelings. But on top of all those things, I am a light worker and I came here to serve. And that comes before my own small mind fears and small mind reserves about what might be happening in this world. I can't step down from who I am at the highest level and feed into the fears of my mind at the smallest level because that means I'm not serving anymore. So I need you to hear this right now. I need you to step out of your fears. I need you to really stay open and to serve out of love and to touch the lives of other people with respect and appreciation. That's what I am calling you to do right now and I challenge you. I challenge you to step out of your fear. I challenge you to step out of your hate. I challenge you to step into that role that you committed to being for people in this world at some point. You accepted responsibility for leadership. You accepted responsibility for being a light. So be that. Be that when it's hard because that's when it matters. It doesn't matter when it's easy. It matters now that it's tough. I hope you really heard me and I hope you take this seriously. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other, guys.